Janusz Triefler, Charité Universitätsmedizin, Berlin. Pancreatic cancer, the feared opponent. Ladies and, and gentlemen, we are all aware that cancer is an increasing burden for our health system and our society. Here you see some data derived from the latest report of the World Health Organization that illustrates why pancreatic cancer remains one of the most challenging malignancies. In contrast to the most frequent cancer types, such as breast and colon cancer, the case fatality rate of uh, pancreatic cancer still is nearly 100%. In other words, nearly every patient diagnosed with pancreatic cancer will die of this disease. This is true independently of the prospective treatment and the place in which uh, the diagnosis is made. As pancreatic cancer is predicted to become the second most common cause of cancer-related death by 2030, there is an enormous medical need for improvement of therapeutic options. Next, please. About 80% of cases are diagnosed in advanced stage. For metastasized disease, the spontaneous life expectancy is less than six months. On this slide, you can see the data for the currently most effective chemotherapies introduced by Conroy and von Hoff some years ago. In clinical practice, this translates to an improved but still disappointing median survival of up to 9 to 12 months. Interestingly, these landmark studies use combinations of classical cytotoxic substances. The addition of various small molecules or antibodies such as inhibitors of EGFR, VEGFR, MEK and RAS so far failed to show any clinically relevant effect in pancreatic cancer. Next. In conclusion, there remains an urgent need of more effective therapies. These charts show some current clinical phase three trials which aim to further improve treatment for advanced pancreatic cancer using innovative substances. The inhibition of polyADP poly, uh, ribose polymerase in BRCA1 or 2 mutated patients, the use of hyaluronidase degrading enzymes in patients with a high hyaluronic acid content in their tumor tissue, and last but not least, insulin growth factor 1 receptor inhibitors in patients with elevated levels of free IGF-1 in their peripheral blood. <coughs> in these studies, treatment will be given for the first time according to a predictive biomarker. The combination of effective cytostatic therapy with personalized targeted substances offers a real hope to further improve survival in this aggressive malignancy. Thank you.